Now, Germans are known for their Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and in today's video I'd like to blah blah blah, German language, funny German words, silly jokes, boobs, yada yada yada. Hey, it's true, isn't it? No. Even though my channel has a certain topic, I try very hard every time to make my videos original and fun. However, what you just said actually comes in handy for today's episode. To imply that what I said was boring, you tossed in blah 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 and yada yada yada. This indicates that it's unnecessary for me to keep talking. You already know what's coming, so it's either uninteresting or predictable. I can also interrupt myself using the same kind of exclamation. I went to the grocery store and I bought all the ingredients for my cake. Butter, milk, eggs, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Because I'm aware that listing more things isn't relevant. Yada, yada, yada. You can figure out the rest yourself. Now, Germans are known for their efficiency. Therefore, it's no surprise that we have expressions like that as well. Expressions to cut ourselves off when we are getting close to mindless rambling. And that's what this episode is going to be dealing with. Usually, Germans don't use yada, yada, yada. But there was another exclamation the hater sidekick used in the beginning of the video. Do you remember? It was blah, blah, blah. And that's totally something. Germans say too. Melanie ist nur eine Arbeitskollegin, hat er gesagt. Sie und ich gehen manchmal Mittagessen, hat er gesagt. Da ist nichts zwischen uns. Bla bla bla. Dann sagt mir eins Christina. Wie kommt ihr Höschen in meinen Kleiderschrank? As you can see in this example, the girl used bla 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 to imply that she was bored and tired of her boyfriend's lies. And most of the time, bla 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 does have a negative connotation. Like the person using it is kind of annoyed, fed up or angry. You can also toss it in when you feel that somebody is talking too much or talking nonsense, even though that's very rude. In this case, the A ah is often stretched, so it's like blah. Similar to that would be blah, blah, blah. What? Well, I felt like you're talking too much. Okay, as I said, rude. So anyway, similar to that would be blee, blah, bloop. I'd consider that the more playful, friendly version of blah, blah, blah. Again, it indicates that there are way more items on the list, but it's unnecessary to mention each and every single one of them. You're getting kind of tired of hearing yourself talk. You must feel that a lot, right? Hello, ich bin die Anne Christine. Meine Hobbys sind Malen, Lesen, Kino, Reiten, blie, blah, blub. Ich war gern Urlaub mit meiner Mama und meinem Papa und meine Lieblingsband ist... Slipknot! Another very funny sounding one is pipa po. It serves the same purpose. You list something, but at some point you figure it's no longer helpful to keep going. Hallo? Was? Zum Spielplatz? Fußball spielen und pipapo? Nein. Also montags hat Malte Kobinian nach der Schule immer Klavierunterricht. Dienstags Ausdruckstanz und mittwochs ist der Briefmarkenclub. Donnerstags Seidenmalerei und freitags ist das Flamingos Töpfern für Fortgeschrittene. Ähm, am 24. Februar 2026 wäre noch was frei. Allerdings nur zwischen 3 und 5. Passt dir das? Hallo? Hallo? Freudige Jugend. Bla bla bla, bli bla blub, pipapo, that sounds like a fantasy language, right? But of course, same as in English, we also have normal expressions, such as and so on. Quite literally, that would be und so weiter. Alternatively, und so weiter und so fort. And so on and so forth. In a text, they can be shortened to USW or USW, USF, respectively. Bla bla bla, usf, usf. Another option is und vieles mehr. UVM. And English speakers also know it, etc., which is pronounced etc. in German. It's mostly abbreviated to etc, and it derives from the Latin et cetera, meaning and the others and the rest. Sometimes you'll find etc. pp. And even though many Germans use it, I doubt that the majority of them knows what the pp stands for. So here I am bringing light into the darkness. <coughs> it stands for perge, perge, which means Follow, follow. So, by the way, why don't you perge perge me on Instagram or Twitter? Huh? Ow. Ow, ich möchte meinen Kopf gegen irgendetwas Hartes schlagen. Thank you, Hater Sidekick, for throwing in some violence here. Eh? Tja, because the two next expressions are kind of brutal as well. You wouldn't expect it, but it's true. When you don't feel like finishing a list, you can say schlag mich tot in German, literally meaning beat me to death. Ooh. It's a bit like, please kill me before I have to mention any more things that belong on this list. Oh, Deutsch lernen ist so mühselig. Vokabeln, Artikel, Pronomen, Zeitformen, schlag mich tot. Ich will nicht mehr. Alternatively, if you don't want anyone to get their hands dirty, you can use schieß mich tot. Tut. <laughs> schieß mich tot. Ah, 
geht wieder. If you don't want anyone to get their hands dirty. What is happening? Alternatively, if you don't want anyone to get their hands dirty, you can use schieß mich tot. Shoot me dead. This went very dark, very quickly, right? So just to be sure, this is just a phrase, okay? Don't actually follow the order when a German says these things. The last expression I have for you today is Hast du nicht gesehen? The translation is something like what you didn't see. Eddie hatte einen riesigen Koffer dabei für drei Tage Urlaub. Fünf Paar Schuhe, drei Jacken, sieben Hosen, Mützen, Schals und hast du nicht gesehen? Und was wollte sie als erstes machen? Shoppen gehen. Pants, scarves, hats and whatnot. Like all the things you've seen and not yet seen in this world. So that usually implies that a list is unnecessary and ridiculously long. Same as this video then? All right, point taken. So this is all for today. Did you know all these German expressions? Which one did you like the most? And do you know others, be it in German or in any other language? Which one do you normally use? Or do you always mention all the items on a list? Tell me in the comments what you think and leave a like if you enjoyed this video because that would make me really, really happy. Now, as always, feel free to perge perge me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. Also, here is a video you should definitely check out. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this one and if you want to support my channel even a bit more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would really appreciate your help. I wish you all a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!